Hello, my name is Jason Stewart and welcome to the, uh, what am I calling this, the full plate? Yeah, I think I'm calling it the full plate. It's new to me. It's a new uh, podcast slash uh, blog that I'm writing about uh, my busy life. So one of my favorite novels as a teacher uh, at a high school in Northern Ontario, one of my no favorite novels to teach is Lord of the Flies by William Golding. And uh, what I particularly like about this book is that I've been teaching it for around 10, 11, 12 years now. And every year I find something new, some new understanding, uh, a little tidbit of details about the world that they're in. So a few years ago, for example, we were reading through and we found the uh, passage where Piggy is, uh, not Piggy, sorry, where, where uh, uh, Jack is talking about Simon always passing out. Uh, as he did in the sand. And he talked about how it happened at Addis and it happened in Jib uh, and then makes reference to a, um, uh, to a, a religious uh, ceremony, probably a Catholic ceremony. Um, and I always glossed over that. I really didn't think much of, about it. But at that moment, I, I asked the class, okay, take out your phones and tell me, what could Jib be short for? What could Addis be short for? So, of course, very quickly, they find Jib could be Gibraltar. Gibraltar, of course, in Spain. Um, the Rock of Gibraltar being a very world-famous uh, symbol. Um, and uh, Addis would be Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. So, all of a sudden, we clued in on exactly where they were heading. Uh, most of the websites say Pacific Ocean. Uh, some have hinted that maybe they thought it, they went, uh, they were being evacuated because of a nuclear strike in the UK, that a, uh, an atomic bomb, uh, probably in London, that they were probably heading towards the United States. I don't think that's true at all. Um, but we have some clues. If they were leaving London, let's say, uh, which is a good guess on maybe where they'd be coming from. So leaving London, flying south to Spain, Gibraltar, and then heading uh, due east to Addis Ababa, they're heading out towards uh, the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. And where could they be heading? Probably because Addis Ababa and Gibraltar were both Commonwealth, uh, uh, former co Commonwealth colonies, that in an evacuation of Britain, the school children, uh, probably upper class, would be sent as far away and to another Commonwealth, na Commonwealth nation. If you're heading that way, Google map it and you follow the exact same, same route to Australia. Um, and during World War II, uh, school children uh, and, and others were evacuated to Australia as a safe place away from the conflict. So traveling along that route, um, these uh, students were in a, a plane of some sort that was uh, probably shot down because at another point they talk about seeing dogfights of other planes. So they're probably uh, shot down and the plane crashed on a tropical island deserted island. Now, what is along that route between Addis Ababa and Australia? you got the Seychelles Islands. Seychelles Islands are 115 islands, a string of islands. Most of them are uninhabited uh, and uh, many tourists, beautiful tourist operations as well. But the, during the 1950s, many of them would have been uninhabited, unexplored, unknown, possibly even unmapped. One of the clues that it could be the Seychelles Island is that the Seychelles are known for their pink granite. And that, of course, is one of the one of the key uh, location landmarks within the island that these boys have crash landed on is the pink granite, the pink granite mountain, the uh, the granite platform that they uh, meet on all the time. So my guess, my best guess, is that they crash landed somewhere in the Seychelles Island, which is in the Indian Ocean. Almost everyone else online says Pacific Ocean, and that they crash landed somewhere near Australia. I don't think that's true. Find a good book, find some interesting things uh, that uh, you didn't know about it. Keep researching. You can always dig up something new. Have a great day.